Hi guys, it's Fran. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do this kind of videos of um, luxury items and hauls. So if you're into that kind of video, please keep on watching. So for today, we are going to be talking about my small leather good collections. So things that I have purchased in the past few years. Um, and like the small leather goods, just itty bitty tiny things. I think these collection that I have for small small leather goods are mostly um, pre love, and I think there's like a couple that are newer or like new um, new items for like the boutique. So yeah, let's get started. This first one here is my first ever Louis Vuitton item. It's the Pochette Accessoire in the monogram canvas so this one here has actually has its own strap but it is vintage and i just want to preserve it so i haven't been using it because you know how leathers are i don't want it to get too too dark but um what do you call this the hardware of it is still in pretty good condition. There's no tarnish on it whatsoever. It's just a couple of hairline um, marks, scratches, hairline scratches. Um, and then the strap itself, the leather strap, is just a little bit deformed, I would say. But it, again, still really good condition. Really good patina as well, but I don't use this. I just keep it in the dust bag. Um, just because I do wear this purse a lot out, um, especially for like special occasions. So yeah, I added a chain, a non-LV chain on it um, so I can wear crossbody because I do like to wear crossbody more or like just on the side here. But yeah, super love it. Um, this, I got it and it's just like a really good um, condition still the only thing that is not so great about it is the leather but that's like the only thing this I got a very very long time ago so it was back when pre-love items um, are selling really good so I got it in a very affordable price right now you can't get a pochette, pochette accessories less than $500 if you can, usually they are in like a rank C condition. Um, so if you're okay with that, I mean, that's fine too, but they've gone up a lot in prices. Um, it, you can get pochette accessories as well from the website itself. It is hard to get them because they really restock those items. They are very, very popular. But yeah, those are usually around a thousand dollars Canadian. So. I'm really lucky to have found this back then. Back then it was only, I think I got this around three to 400. So really good price. Um, still very clean inside. This one here is made in France. I love everything that's made in France. Cause I mean, those are where the fashion house is. So I like to get things from France itself, but yeah. Just a simple. I use this a lot. A lot of people use this obviously for inside their purse. I use it more for so like events and stuff like that. But yeah, love this pochette accessoire here. Okay, on to the next one is a, what is this? Oh, okay. Well, this one I had um, in my last luxury haul that i showed you but it's my dior belt um i guess i'll just add it in here because it's like my only belt but it's this dior um vintage belt that i got from poshmark i ha haven't had a chance to use this one so it's just been in a bag here i might use it more like summer when i go out because right now it's just hard to style because I just I just go to the grocery or the mall and I usually have my coat on so there's no point in wearing a belt. Um, and I've been wearing sweatpants so again no use of wearing a belt there. So we'll move on to the next one. Here is a 
another pochette but this is a mini, a mini pochette um, accessories so this one here is in monogram canvas as well so it's this tiny thing this one here um, I have been using it a long time actually but um, very very good condition so again I bought this before the whole price up in the preload market so I think I got this around 250 to 300 the seller did give me a um, non-LV chain to use with it so I've been using that because again I like to wear it more so for like crossbody or sometimes I double it and then I wear it as like a belt um, belt bag so yeah this one here is not all to talk about it's also made in france really good condition still um there's no like the the leather is still a very very light color but yeah even the hardware are just like hairline scratches so yeah this one i freaking love next up is another vintage this one has more of a vintage um box but it's also a so comes actually this came with like a receipt. So this one here is also a mini pochette accessories in um yeah this one actually was from Singapore. I love that it came with like the receipt and everything. But yeah, this was from a, pre a reseller as well. So it comes with a non-LV chain. So same thing as the other one, but this one is in Damier Bean um, canvas. This one is um, more, what do you would call it? It looked more beat up than my... Um, mini pochette accessories in the monogram so this one has um some hairline um cracks on it so i don't use this as much as well and there's a lot of tarnish on the hardware this one comes in like the red interior inside really tiny rarely used this so kind of forgot about it um, also made in French France this one here also um, has a lot of um, wear on the leather here so yeah this leather bean and mini pochette accessories that is it for that not a lot to say about it okay so the next one i have is an item that is new to me this one i've talked about in my first haul um my luxury designer haul but it's a small compact wallet from saint laurent this one is just a um simple i think i don't want to say the name of the style because i i'll just put it down here but I might butcher it so I don't want to say it but it's just a cool compact wallet in silver hardware it opens up like this you can push your put your cash in there's um, small insert as well so you can put cards in there or receipts or whatever you whatever else you want to put this one is made in Italy um, it's in that really nice green leather so it's very flexible i haven't had a chance to use this one as well um, i might use it more when i change my purse because right now i am wearing a wallet on chain the one that i got for excuse me the one that i got for um our anniversary um this month so i have no needs for a wallet right now but yeah it comes with this pocket as well for your change and other cards yeah, very simple, very compact. I love how tiny it is. This one is from YSL. Dun, dun, dun. 
next one here was also part of my luxury haul that I did recently. It is a Dior vintage um, Dior makeup pouch. It just opens up like that. It's very tiny. Um, so it fits in a lot of tiny purses as well. That's, I love that about this. Um, I bought this from a reseller as well. But I got this in. But I was thinking of making it more of like a small purse, kind of like what I usually do with the mini pochette accessories. But um, I haven't had a chance to kind of play around with it and see if I could put a chain on them. So it's just been sitting in my closet. But yeah, it's just this Dior in like a denim um, oblique style. That's that, and then the next one here is a really, really old version of the key holder from Louis Vuitton, and also in like the monogram canvas. This is super old, also made in France. Um, it's really old. It's hard to see the serial number on the end there, but it's like really, really used. So I got this um, for like a hundred dollars. The reason why I got this was because I just wanted to get something that I could put in my purse, I can put my keys in it, whatsoever, and not feel bad about like oh I spent three hundred dollars on something like that. I don't want it to get scratched up. This one I can just use it for what it's actually meant for and not worry about it. The hardware has a lot of tarnish in it, like it doesn't even look gold anymore. I might clean it um, one day, but yeah, it's just, see how the LV is like, like the leather is really faint, the canvas there is really faint, just because it's really old. Um, but yeah, it's just, usually you can get like the key holder now has um, the actual, what do you call that, but it has that thing that you can touch your keys in um, so your keys kind of like sits inside it does have a small um, what do you call this like a small piece of leather in there it's for you to attach like I guess your um, key ring but yeah just a small monogram key holder and then this one is gonna be the last one just an honorary one because um, it is Dior, but it's technically from a beauty. I think this one was from like the beauty Dior, or no, perfume. So it's kind of like their their giveaway. But I got this for off from work. But it's this Dior bag. It's so fancy. Um, it has like the Dior embossed at the front there. And then like the star Christian Dior logo here. And then inside is just this pretty um, lining that has CD all over it. The logo Christian Dior all over inside. But yeah, very simple. I haven't had a chance to use this, but I thought I could use it more for like evening or going out. Um, I guess it's meant for a makeup pouch as well so you can use that for that but I think it's just too pretty for me to use it as like a makeup pouch it is such a nice leather as well so yeah you can use it kind of like more of a clutch purse to use for going out and it did come with like a pretty packaging so yeah that's that um, and that is it for all of my small leather goods in like the luxury collection um that is it and thanks for watching bye